towards the end of tonight's conversation, I brought up a book that I know Lori Daybell has read and that she likes. I clearly didn't delve deep enough into this topic because I've learned that the internet and true crime groups across social media tonight are filled right now with people asking, who is Denver Snuffer? So I figured before I head to bed, I'll do a quick follow-up and answer the question. First, let me explain how I know that Lori Daybell has read and likes this book called The Second Comforter by Denver Snuffer Jr. It comes from a reliable source. April Raymond, who was Lori's friend at the time, shared this with me. We are very grateful for the info April has passed along as we try to make sense of this tragedy. And she did say I could share this particular piece of information. John and I had questions about Lori's beliefs. And one of those beliefs that we discussed in our last couple of podcast episodes is Lori's claim that she has met Christ face to face. So in this book, The Second Comforter, by Denver Snuffer Jr. I love saying that name. He allegedly claims in this book that he has seen Christ and gives readers a step-by-step formula to having their own second comforter experience. So who is Denver Snuffer Jr. besides that guy with a really unique name I like saying? He was a convert to the LDS church, an attorney in Utah now, and was excommunicated from the church in 2013 because he refused to stop publishing one of his books, The Challenged LDS Orthodoxy. Does this sound familiar? He has followers. They're called Snufferites. Yes, Snufferites. Many consider Snuffer Jr. a prophet and consider his books like scripture, which is clearly true because this book that we bought used has a a message in it for the person they're giving it to. And they say that this is the most helpful book we've ever found next to the scriptures. Merry Christmas. Love, Katie. So, whoa. While Snuffer wrote this book, The Second Comforter, before he was excommunicated from the LDS Church, Lori Daybell was reading it well after Snuffer's excommunication. When Lori visited April in 2018, Lori was reading this book and gave April a copy. So how or why does this matter? I don't know yet. I'm still investigating, but I'll be reading this book for all of you in the coming weeks. I think it does show that Lori was invested in learning about deeper religious beliefs that weren't being taught to her in church. It's possible that this is when Lori started to believe she could have her own visit from Christ. But again, I'm not sure yet. Hopefully through reading the book, I'll learn more about where Lori's beliefs stem from and who influenced her beyond just Chad Daybell. And when I finish, I will give a full report.